I want to thank you all for coming in to your mouse driver test today. Before we get started with the actual examination, I'm going to kind of go over a few things, uh, just last minute uh, memory refreshers, so that uh, we won't have any issues during the test. Now, uh, yeah, I know, Betty, I know that you haven't gotten your mouse yet, but uh, you will shortly. Has everyone else been assigned their mouse? Uh-huh. Okay, Henry. Well, Henry, you, you have been assigned a rat, am I correct? And that was by your own choosing. Hmm. Well, all righty then. Okay. Well, I'm going to give you each a harness here. As you can see, this is a nice beaded harness. And we've tried to find your favorite colors. Yes, Betty, I, I do know that you're not too fond of turquoise, and I'll, I'll get you that, that scarlet one you've been wanting. Okay, just, just have a seat for now, okay? Thanks. So you'll each be getting this harness if you haven't already received yours, and you're just going to kind of fasten it on to the, the little uh, rings on the side of the mouse. Mm-hmm. When you're on the mouse, I'm going to re remind you to hold on tight because these little boogers can go, you know, like lightning, especially if there's a piece of cheese involved. So just hold on tight and really settle into the saddle. Now, you'll all have leather saddles, uh, except for you, Henry, because I, I, yes, I heard you have some issues. So we got you a nice cotton saddle. Don't have to worry about that. I would go see a doctor if I were you, though. And, uh, yeah, I think that's about it. Also, uh, you each have a rattle here. And, as you know, that kind of makes your, your little mouse giddy up. So, uh, use it sparingly, though, because you don't want them going too fast and bucking you off. You know, uh, they can be broncos sometimes. Especially that rat of yours. Yeah, uh-huh. So, okay. Uh, yeah, let's... You're first. Let's go ahead and get you to hop on, and I'll sit right right beside you here on this little uh, tester cart thing, and uh, yeah, we'll get to it. Uh, Maeve, what's your name? Uh, you're new around here, aren't you? I thought so. Well, no, there's nothing to worry about. I'm just going to have you basically grab onto the reins there, and... Uh, as I said, just take a firm grasp of it. Now, your mouse is named Thumper. Yes, uh, he has a tendency to itch quite a bit, and uh, that's hence his name. Yeah, it, it makes sort of a weird thumping noise on the ground when he uh, gets to going. So, uh, yeah, well, I think he just has a little allergy, maybe to pollen or something, just a little skin condition, nothing to worry about, nothing contagious. Anyhow, I'm going to have you go up here around the Enchanted Wood, and we're just going to go slow, nothing too quick, just a little bit of a gallop, if you will, and uh, yeah, I, I my heart can't take anything more than that. I've done so many of these tests, I just, I can't handle it, dear, so you're just going to have to bear with me, okay? And uh, I'll be taking some notes as we go along. Uh, not written notes, of course, because it's too jittery on there. But I'll be making some observations to you. And you just keep them in mind. And uh, if you pass this, you're going to get your, your little mouse driver's license and everything. won't have any problems. And you can go all over the Enchanted Wood with uh, without any cares. But if, if there are issues we need to work on, that's not a problem. We'll just work on them together. Maybe some tutoring lessons or something. And uh, we'll get you up to speed in no time, okay? I, I know you're a newcomer. Yeah. Okay, well let's just uh, start off slow. Nice and easy, does it? That's right. And we'll head on through these leaves over here. Yeah, round that big oak. Definitely not through it. <laughs> Alrighty. Yeah, see, there you go. You're handling Thumper quite nicely. He can be a bit unruly sometimes, so I think he and you are going to get along just fine. 
Yeah, there you go. So now how long have you been a fairy? Oh, not too long then, okay. Well, yeah, I mean, the Earth Fairy is the best way to go. I'm biased, of course, because I am an Earth Fairy, but I deal with lots of other fairies, too, because I'm part of the committee. But uh, I think our, us Earth Fairies are just so grounded. I mean, uh, we know where it's at. We know what's going on. We don't try to sugarcoat things, if you know what I mean, if you catch my drift. Exactly. Well, we know that life's a bowl of cherries, because it's got some pits, huh? <laughs> I think that's the way the saying goes anyway. Okay, so we'll just head up around that birch over there with the with the sparrow nest in it. Now, don't get too close because they get mighty skittish and we don't want to end up with, uh, you know, droppings on us. That happened to me about two weeks ago. Oh, took me forever to wash that stuff out of my hair. So then, uh, and right after the birch, what we'll do is we'll head over into that clearing over there around that uh, little patch of poppies, and then we'll make a U-turn and head right back to the testing site. Of course, we'll pass a few things on the way. Take the scenic route, huh? Why not? Back to what I was saying. I love being an earth fairy. I mean, I just love it. I, uh... I've been doing these mice driver tests for, oh, Lord knows how long, uh, probably about five, ten years. Yeah. I just, yep, I love it. It is a bit nerve-wracking. I mean, especially if you get a little mischievous fairy here, you know, trying to zoom around the birches and, you know, grab the mushrooms as it goes along. But other than that, you, you know, you've got a good batch here. I, th I think you're part of a good group, so, uh, you're in the clear. Okay. Well, about a month ago, we tried to do one of these little driver tests, and a bunch of bats ruined it for us. There was so much guano up in here. Oh, my God. Ugh. I think I, ha I still have nightmares about it. I really do. And we don't know where they came from. It was probably a prank. Some fairy kids went into the caves and, you know, rustled them up to try to get them to swarm us over here. And it, I was not amused. That's a weird word, huh, guano? Ugh. Anyhow. So, like I said, around this... Here, let's get him in the road. That little rattle. He's... There you go. Come on, Thumper. Let's do this thing. A uh, little patch of poppies and then we'll head on back. We're going to pass a couple of the old oaks over here. They're delightful. And then, the, of course, the cherry tree, the famous cherry tree. Yeah. Have you heard about it? Uh, well, I guess someone, I don't know, many, many years ago, many moons ago, as I say, tried to chop the thing down, and then he lied about it. It was this whole thingamajigger. I don't know. It was weird, whatever happened. And he ended up becoming president of some other realm. <laughs> I know, strange things. Well, the humans are strange to begin with. I think he was a human, probably something like that. Lying about a cherry tree will get you elected president. Holy moly. Huh. Okay, so we'll head past the poplar right there. Yep. I love poplars, don't you? Yeah, you don't see too many of them here in these woods. You see a lot of oaks, some birches, maples every now and again. Oh, I love a big dollop of maple syrup on my pancakes in the morning. With my grits, of course. So then we're going to go ahead and head past that poplar, as I said. And then we'll go ahead and, uh, well, let's go ahead and go around that, uh, that big maple over there. Yeah, Thumper's handing quite nicely with you. You're good with those reins. You really are, yeah. Especially for a first timer. Have you been practicing at all? Well, they put you on top of one of those the mouse machines, huh? Oh, those things are dreadful. It's not like the real thing. I mean, the mouse isn't going to be going, you know, 50 kilometers an hour at high speed and, you know, bucking up and down. I mean, that's just crazy. Probably threw you right off, huh? Oh. Okay. 
yeah that, that that's right now we're going to go right back around to the starting point you've done very good i must say i mean some people just come in here and fail like no tomorrow but you've been really good yeah Oh, yeah. Well, I, I don't be hard on yourself. I know plenty of people come up in here and they think that they're going to just do awfully. I mean, just horribly. But they end up, you know, passing with flying colors. Mm-hmm. It's all about confidence when you get on these mice, you know. They got to know who's boss. And they also have to know who has the cheese because that's the most important thing, especially if it's Swiss. And cheddar. Cheddar's a, a close second. They love that cheddar cheese. So you just got to... Look them in the eye and say, listen, mouse, I got the cheese and I know how to use it. Exactly. You got to know you mean business, you know? Okay. Also, I, I, I got to say, you need to brush them every now and again. They get a little, you know, worse for the wear. Especially if they try to go through their mouse holes and, uh, Around the, the, yeah, exactly, that part of the forest with all the nectar and the, oh, it's a sticky situation. Oh, I know the poor things. So, and they'll have cheese stuck all over their mouths and, uh, ugh, it's just awful. You don't want them walking around here like the Rat King from that Nutcracker play, do you? I mean, that's just dreadful. You gotta groom them. You gotta groom them well and you gotta... You got to show them some love, you know. Let them know that they're the best darn mouse you've ever ridden on with a saddle. Exactly. Yeah. That's what really counts, isn't it? Okay. Uh, yeah, let's just park her here. I think you passed. I really do. In fact, I'm quite certain of it. You, you were fantastic. Especially for being a first-timer, like I said. Definitely. Well, they'll issue you your license down at the office there at the Earth Fairy uh, Department, but they'll get it for you, and you'll probably receive it in about a couple weeks, you know, the bureaucratic red tape and all. So, uh, definitely. Well, if you ever want to come back down here and help out or just, you know, go for a little, little ride again, I'd be more than happy to chat with you, you know? Good company. All right. Well, you take care now. Bye.